Hi, everybody. Hello, everyone. Welcome in. Hi, this is uh, Saturday night. Um, normally, we do Brewing with the Bones on Saturday morning. Um, so this is going to be a special little treat. Um, we are doing, I guess we'll call it Cooking with the Bones on Saturday evening. Since we have a toddler, um, I didn't think cooking in the morning with him running around was uh, conducive to anybody's health. So um, we sent him to my parents. And so we are doing it together. Will asked if he could join. And I was like, I guess if you have to. So <laughs> we're here together in our kitchen. Um, we uh, Dawn is going to pop in sometime. We're not really sure when as of right now, but she's going to pop in for a little bit. She's on Chris's stream right now. Yeah. So um, I know a lot of you are probably channel hopping right now. There's a lot oh, yeah. going on. Yeah, there's a there's a celebration for the uh, the, the Marvel uh, Disney YouTube uh, Recognition Hall of Fame uh, after party is on Dad Bilt's channel right now. Hey, welcome in everybody. So yeah, we we've seen already seen a lot of people in the chat, and so we were honored tonight. Uh, and again, you know, we're definitely an honor and a privilege to be able to uh, be inducted into the Disney YouTube Hall of Fame, um, and to be recognized alongside all these other wonderful channels that you know that we're fans of. Uh, and so, you know, just, just huge shout out to, to everybody and, and a big, big thank you. Mom's going to join in later on to, to talk more about it too. But, uh, yeah, we, uh, our character that we, that our channel ended up get, being given was Dr. Strange. So I brought Dr. Strange along with me. Uh, so he's here hanging out on the laptop, but I just want to say thank you uh, from the bottom of our hearts. It's, it's wonderful to be part of this community. And, and to be recognized is, you know, just, just amazing. And we really appreciate it. Uh, but more about that once mom hops in. Again, check out Dot, Dad Build's channel. And, and huge thank you also to, to Pete McDevitt show. Um, yeah, th thank you so much, everybody. Um, and so anyway, I'll turn things back over to Jillian <laughs> uh, since this is um, since this is Brewing with the Bones and tonight Cooking with the Bones. Yes. So I'll turn it back well, over to Jillian. Well, hello, everyone who's already in. I'm sorry. We're like, we're trying to cook and set things up. So if we don't say your name personally, thank you, thank you, thank you for coming in. There's a lot of new names that I'm seeing tonight. Yeah. So that's awesome. Yeah. We're so Thanks glad you're here. here. Um, so if you're new to our show, we go live on Tuesday nights as well. Mm -hmm. And we normally try to start off with channel news and like this day in Disney history. So there's not like a ton going on channel news wise. We're probably still going to do our regular. Other than the big announcement of the night. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And then we're probably going to do our Tuesday night stream. I don't know. Dawn sometimes throws together videos from uh, trips that we've taken in the past. If you hear beeping, it's okay. But we got <laughs> things going on. Um, so I don't know. There could be uh, pop-up streams or pop-up videos that go live. So make sure to ring that bell so you know when all of our stuff goes live. So yeah. we are going to start with today in Disney history. Um, we use this day in Disney history.com. Super cool. You can click on any date. So if you want to know what happened on your birthday, anniversary, whatever it may be, go to this website and you can pop on and see what's happened in this day. So today is December 18th. And um, in 1941, Walt Disney was called to Washington, D.C. to meet with the Treasury Department and the IRS. Sounds super scary. Mm -hmm. But they met because they wanted Disney to provide a film to promote paying taxes. So I guess if you can get Walt Disney involved in something like that, people are more likely to pay their taxes, I guess. I don't know. A friendly face on the screen. So that was in 1941. Um, I'm not going to go over everything. In 1953, Disney's animated Peter Pan is released in Finland and France. So uh, if you follow today's movies as well, I think, um, what was it, Luca? Luca came out in what, France first, I'm pretty mm -hmm. sure, because it is, I mean, it's, that's the culture of the movie. And then it came to America. So um, if you follow all that kind of stuff. They do release movies in certain parts of the in the world before other parts. So that's pretty cool. Uh, da, 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 da. Like I said, I'm trying not to read all of them because we have a busy, busy, busy night. 
1966, the television series Walt Disney's Wonderful World of Color airs Disneyland's Around the Season. So obviously that was a Christmas episode that aired on this day. Ooh, ooh, ooh. All right. 1980, pop star Christina Marie Aguilera, a member of Disney Channel's all-new Mickey Mouse Clubhouse, was born in Staten Island, New York. She recorded the song Reflections for the 1998 film Mulan, and recently she's done the Loyal, Brave, and True song for the live-action Mulan. They've had her on, like, the 50th special for Disney, and then they've had her... Um, on the Christmas one, I, I believe, or they have in the past. So uh, Christina Aguilera is a, uh, I guess she's a part of that Disney community and she's a diehard Disney fan. So, um, all right, 1998, McDonald's opens a French fry stand inside Disneyland housed inside a covered wagon in Frontierland. Now that's cool. Will, did you know that, I did not know that McDonald's had French fries inside Disneyland? I, I take that back. Yes, I did know that. They, well, that they had that at uh, they also had that at Disney World there for a period of time. I feel like we like should mid bring late, it back. Yeah, it was like mid to late two uh, thousands. Yeah, uh, I think is whatever whatever. The, I it was nineteen ninety eight in Frontierland at Disneyland, so I'm sure they had it for a couple of years. I think I'm going to start a campaign called bring Bra bring back the McDonald's french fries. That's super cool. I like that. Um all right. 2003, the Disney company is nominated for multiple Go Golden Globe awards including uh Cold Mountain, Finding Nemo, Pirates of the Caribbean, The Curse of the Black Pearl, and my personal favorite, Freaky Friday. Cool. So, that is cool. Um, 2009, The Great Moments with Mr. Lincoln Attraction returns to Disneyland. And on that same day, down at Disney World, Mickey's Very Merry Christmas Party is held for the last and the 19th time of the season. That's weird that they would end that before Christmas Day. Yeah, they, they, I think they always ended a little bit early. Yeah, welcome in. Hey, thanks, Blaine. Really appreciate it. Yeah, thanks for um, in. in Thank 2019, you so much. Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker, featuring music by composer and conductor John Williams, is released on Walt Disney Re Records. So that's just the soundtrack that was released. Ooh. And in 2020, Walt Disney Records released Disney Junior Music, Mickey's Holiday Party, Black Beauty, The Mandalorian Season 2, and Soul. So all of those cool. records were released today that's in 2020. Sweet. So super cool. Again, that's today in Disney history. Um, and for all of you who are wondering why we're doing this on Saturday night, we I just decided why just listen to me sit and talk for an hour, I guess. <laughs> um, so we are making... Disneyland's Jolly Holiday Tomato Basil Soup. Um, the Jolly Holiday Restaurant is uh, Mary Poppins themed. So for all you Mary Poppins fans out there, if you've ever been there, let us know. Um, Will and I have not been there. Mm -hmm. But I love tomato basil soup. I love grilled cheese. So we're going to make the soup. And then we're going to make the grilled cheese. So um, hang in there with us. I've never made this before. So... Um, you're going to get a treat and I'm going to get a treat and then Will's going to get a treat after we're done. So we haven't had dinner and it's really late because we knew eight. we were doing this. <laughs> so we are going to start um, with the items that you need to make this. So again, it's just Disney has not released the actual recipe for this. This mm. is somebody they came up with their own um, from micechat.com. She has a blog. That's where I got this, micechat.com. Um, so you will need olive oil, a yellow onion, garlic, tomato paste, chicken or vegetable stock. I believe I used chicken stock. Yep, chicken stock. Um, you will need diced tomatoes or roasted tomatoes, or you can roast your own tomatoes for this. So I'm roasting my tomatoes right now as we're speaking. I just used two cans of diced tomatoes from Kroger, just the Kroger brand, and I dumped them 
in a pie pan with some olive oil at 350 for about 20 minutes. I I got them in there early because I don't I don't want this to go on too long just because I'm <laughs> roasting tomatoes. Um, you'll need sugar, dried oregano, salt and pepper, a bay leaf, um, half and half or heavy cream. I decided to use heavy cream. I think half and half isn't as creamy and thick. So I like my soup a little thicker. So I chose heavy whipping cream, um, whatever. I know Jonathan Chong, it made me hungry too. That's why I had to make it. Um, and then it says fresh basil. Unfortunately, the Instacart lady who went shopping, I think she was just a little lazy and didn't want to find fresh basil. So she got just basil. So I think it'll be fine. We'll be okay. Did I keep the liquid? I did keep the liquid from the can. I It's tomatoes going into tomato soup. So I kept the liquid because I'm like, it's all tomato. So it's going in the same place. Um, and then salt, pepper, and more sugar just to taste. So once you're done with everything, um, they have that just in case you want more pepper, more salt, more sugar, whatever. So uh, like I said, we have the tomatoes already in the oven at 350 roasting. I had no idea you could roast your own tomatoes, but <laughs> learned something new every day. Um, so Will is here. I guess for moral support or to help. I'm not really sure. He's <laughs> been interested in cooking lately. So maybe we'll learn something together. So um, we are going to go over to our cook cam over here. You want me to bring that one up as the big screen? Oh, yes, you okay. can do that. So we're going to bring the other one up as a big screen. I hope you probably don't want to see my back. So I'm <laughs> using just a red um, lodge pan to cook in. Um, so it's more of a, a heavier built soup pan. Um, you know, you have the typical soup pans as well, but this one's heavier, it's a lodge pan. That's what I'm gonna use to cook. And then I've just got my skillet and my French bread. So we're making some bougie uh, grilled cheese. I had French bread pre-cut from Kroger. Um, it is a little smaller, but from what I was reading, um on the website it says that they serve the grilled cheese on top of the soup at the restaurant so it is a little bit smaller and then i got sharp cheddar cheese and white cheddar cheese because i like a variety of cheeses when i make grilled cheese so that's just my that's just what i did so you feel free if you're going to make a grilled cheese do it how you want to obviously uh, but now we are going to get started. So we are going to turn this on low. So your soup pan needs to be on low. It says heat olive oil in a pan. So I'm just going to drizzle to cover a little bit of the bottom. I have a little bit of technical difficulties. Will's trying to figure it out. And then it wants you to slice up your onion, chop up your onion. And you will add it to the bottom of the pan first. So let's try that again. Again, I am no professional chef. So all you professional chefs out there, if you are cringing at the way I cut things, <laughs> I super apologize, but I did not go to chef school. Um, so I'm doing the very best that I can to make this I can't even get, see, I can't even get the shell off onion. All right, we're on the move here. Will's doing weird things with the camera. <laughs> Glad he's here. <laughs> okay, so your olive oil is on the stove. We're using the whole onion. It wants the whole onion. So I got, I don't really know if I got a yellow onion. I, yellow, white, Which same, white? Yeah. same <laughs> difference, I guess. I don't really know. So, they're onions. I just, I guess not a purple onion, I guess, is what they meant. So, we're <laughs> repositioning the cameras real quick. Sometimes when you buy on Instacart too, because you're lazy like me and you don't want to go to the store, um, especially when you have a kid and a job, who wants to like spend time in the store? Not I. Will loves the store though. Tell Spanish. <laughs> I don't even know. He'll be like, I'm leaving for the store, and I'll be like, okay, see you in five hours. <laughs> so I don't know what's up with Will, but 
All right. Here we go. So again, no professional chef here. And then, I, people call these spatulas, I'm gonna call it a spatula, just a spatula to get it all in there, get it covered. And then we're gonna chop the other half. Then it says to turn it on medium high heat once you get the onion in there. So I guess it just wanted you to heat up the olive oil first and then get that onion in there. Chop, chop, chop. Can everybody see and hear us okay? I just wanted to go ahead and check. Yeah, let us know. We've never done a stream from our kitchen before. Um, so we don't really know what this looks or sounds like. can leave the onion out. I mean, I don't think it would make a big difference. I know a lot of people don't really like onions. I don't think it would make a difference if you left the onion out, to be honest. Mm. Uh, there's very few tomato basil soups that I've had that actually have onion in them. I actually had one the other day from Panera, and I didn't see any onions in it. So I'm assuming if you're not an onion fan, I don't really see the harm in leaving the onion out, to be honest. Get the onion smell off my hands. Will's working the camera in the chat, so. And I try to clean up as I go along. So if you see me bagging stuff, just ignore. All right, so to get your onion completely sauteed. Uh, Catherine Ruby says, do you freeze the onions before you peel, peel them? Uh, are you crying from the onion? <laughs> I actually have never cried from onions, actually. Mm. I I don't know why. I guess I just am not as sensitive to that. Yeah. Uh, but I've never heard of freezing them. Um, I do know people who put, like, peppermint oil on their nose when they cook onions. Um, so... If anything's frozen, please let us know because it's frozen on my yeah. computer, but not on the phone. Yeah, I'm just double checking. So, I'm. Uh, I went ahead and connected my phone to Wi-Fi. It seemed like the connection might have been a little spotty. So hopefully, it's a little bit better now. All right. So you want the onions to sa saute until they're translucent. Um, so pretty much almost see through. I know that's super weird because it's an onion. So how do you see through onions? But. All right, then I bought uh, garlic, fresh garlic. So I'm going to peel the garlic off. And then it wants you to add two cloves of garlic. Again, I super like garlic. Like, I love garlic. I put garlic on everything. So if you don't like garlic that much, I don't see a problem in just adding one clove, adding just a half a clove, two cloves. If you want more garlic, add three. I don't really see the issue with any of that, honestly. I think this recipe is made to where you can use as much or as little as you want. Um, and I'm making the full recipe. If you wanted to half it, I'm sure you could do that as well. Um, will and I eat a lot of soup, so hopefully we will eat all of this. Probably not tonight, though. Okay, so I have my cloves of garlic, still unwrapping them, sorry. All right, garlic press. There's different kinds of garlic presses. Um, I just have this, this cheap one from Kroger. Put your cloves of garlic in there. And you're going to want to push, push down. And then I scrape them off. And again, 
Again, once that's in there, stir it up a little bit. You're gonna want that to cook in about a minute or two with the onions, so it has time to get flavorful. We are done with the cutting board, so I'm just gonna move it out of the way. All right. So next, we added the garlic. It takes about a minute for it to become perfectly fragrant. Um, then we're gonna add tomato paste. One can of six ounce tomato paste. I use Kroger brand. I honestly, I don't see a difference between Kroger brand and the fancy stuff. So if you wanna save a couple cents, that is the best way to do it. Yeah, it's interesting what things, uh, you know, what where the brand makes a difference. Yeah, I mean, I use Kroger or Walmart brand of almost anything, but I know that there's some people who just really, really prefer um, a certain brand over another, um, and that's fine. I don't think it makes a huge difference. Um, unless you're allergic to something or, I don't know. Sorry about all the banging. Kind of scrape it out. And we'll scrape it off the spoon. Then you're going to stir it up in there. This is the tomato paste, by the way, the paste. Paste, paste, paste. So you're going to want to get it in there with the olive oil. Stir it around. Just a little bit. Um, if you're wondering, the heat is on low. I turn it up to medium high just to get the onions and garlic cooking good. And then I turn it down to low once I can tell that the uh, onions and garlic were starting to pop. Wash the onion smell off. All right. So we had olive oil in the pan first. We added the onion, sauteed it. Then we added the garlic for about a minute and sauteed that. The tomato paste in there for about a minute or two. I want you to stir it occasionally just so it doesn't lump up there. And my heat was on high to start off with. Then I went back down to low. And then I went to medium just to cook the onions a little bit. Now I'm back on low again. I know that's super crazy, but let me find a spoon rest. We didn't have a spoon rest. Our Mickey Mouse spoon rest. Everyone needs a Mickey Mouse spoon rest. <laughs> Got that at Home Goods, actually. All right. So the diced tomatoes are going to go in next, and the the chicken stock. Um, so the roasted tomatoes are in the oven still, getting uh, a little uh, getting cooked. So the chicken stock or um, vegetable stock, it needs one cup. So whatever you chose, again, Kroger brand chicken stock, it does not need to go in the refrigerator until it's already opened. So you wanna make sure to shake it up really good and you only need one cup of that. So we're gonna shake, shake, shake really good. You're gonna to wanna to use a liquid measuring cup um, which I know sounds really stupid, but Will learned when he started cooking with HelloFresh <laughs> uh -huh. that dry and liquid uh, measuring cups are actually different sizes. So I have this right here, it's Pyrex, and it, you can look in it to see how much is in there. Mm -hmm. So um, that is a super handy tool. Um, so trying to help you all out there. Mom says this is already looking good. I know, it is. It's smelling <laughs> Delicious. So this is actually pretty easy. I mean, Will looked at it earlier and said, wow, are we just gonna go all night? And I was like, actually, I, it's pretty simple, to be honest. Um, it doesn't look, I, I don't know, it looks more intimidating, I guess, if you've never cooked before. So Will, do you mind getting the roasted tomatoes out of the oven, oven mitt, because it's hot? So we pre-roasted our tomatoes on 350 degrees. They've been in there, I don't know, about, about 20 to 30 minutes is what it says. You're going to want to pour a little bit of olive oil over those. And that's how you roast your own tomatoes. 
which I think is super, super cool. So that is going to go in there. In the meantime, we have a basil leaf. Disney oven mitts. <laughs> So I'm going to drop. Where do you want me to put it, Julie? Um, you're going to come and pour it in the soup, and I'll help you. So I have two bay leaves that are going in there. Um, it says fresh, fresh, but again, the lady who was shopping for me said she couldn't find fresh, fresh. So she just got dried ones, and I think they're super, like, they have a super amazing aroma to them. Yeah. So I think good. that they'll be fine. All right, well, come over here, and we're going to dump the tomatoes in this soup slowly. Get the tomatoes, everybody. So those just came out of the oven. It was at 350 for how long? For 20 to 30 minutes. Uh, it's up to your discretion. All that was in it was the canned diced tomatoes and the olive oil. Okay. So right. we're going to pour it in slowly just because we don't want it to yeah, splatter. So we're trying to get all the juice coming out now. Get it all out. All right. So again, those were hot. They came out of the oven. All right, we're good. So that was something I pre-did before we started the stream, just because I knew this wasn't going to take a super long time to cook all of this. So now I want you to add sugar, salt, and pepper. It says add as much as you want um, for your liking. I am not a big salt person. I prefer using garlic salt over anything else. But Will knows I am a huge, huge pepper fan. Um, the more pepper, the better. So we're going to stir that in. And then I'm going to use just a table or a teaspoon of sugar. Um, and then we'll taste it at the end and see what it tastes like with just that teaspoon. Jonathan Chong says, looking great so far. Thanks, Jonathan. Also, congratulations, Jonathan, uh, on, on being recognized at Disney YouTube uh, Hall of Fame. <laughs> Definitely well-deserved. You've, you've supported us for a really long time, and we really appreciate it. And, uh, you know, it's, it's hard, to, uh, hard to find a channel in our community where, uh, where you're not there in the chat. So uh, absolutely well-deserved, Jonathan. Okay, so the sugar just went in. Stir that a little bit. Um, a lot of people don't know this, but when you're cooking or baking, um, it sounds really weird, but the use of sugar and salt together actually form a sweeter, flavorful taste. Mm. So a lot of people don't know that, but salt actually with sugar brings out the flavor a lot more. So the sugar is needed. And I think Dawn, when she makes her... Um, her spaghetti and meatballs, I'm pretty sure she uses a little bit of sugar, if I remember that yeah, recipe, I believe right? so. Yeah, I think so, that's right. Um, Thanks, Jonathan. So that was step five. We added the diced tomatoes that were roasted in the oven. We added dried, uh, the bay leaf, sugar, salt, pepper, and the chicken stock. Now we need to add one tablespoon of oregano. Dried oregano, one that's basil. <laughs> so one tablespoon of dried oregano. I'm going to take the lid off because it is a tablespoon. So that's bigger. So again, I use the Kroger brand. Tablespoon. Make sure you're reading it right when you are <laughs> dumping it in there or else it can be too flavorful or not flavorful <laughs> enough, and then you're going to be sad. Yeah. <laughs> Which, funny story, I've done that before. I, the other, well, it was probably months ago now, but I made homemade gravy and biscuits, and I misread it. It said two tablespoons of butter. <laughs> I thought it said two cups, so I put two whole sticks of butter in that, and that was interesting. <laughs> I can't say I've ever had anything quite like that. So. <laughs> Welcome right. in, Adventure by D. All right, I want you to bring that to a boil. So a boil, 
we, it pretty much is out of boil. You see all the bubbles? That is a boil. Again, I know it sounds really stupid, <laughs> but if you've never cooked before, um, this is going to be a boil. A, roil, a rolling bubble is when the whole thing is bubbling up. So it kind of already is in a boil right now. So I'm going to stir it around again. Trying not to break those bay leaves because eventually they'll have to come out. Um, okay, so it's out of boil. <laughs> Thanks, Adventures by D. They love our Christmas attire. <laughs> oh, thank you. I know, I'm looking at my PJs today. Do, 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 do. Sorry, I'm trying to get the half and half. Okay, one cup of heavy cream goes in. Okay, so heavy cream. Here it is. And then the basil. Heavy cream. What did I say? I have to cut for that. Is that what I said? I'm not sure what you said. Oh, I was paying attention to my own words. <laughs> I was reading chat. All right, all right, all right. Yeah, half a cup of heavy cream or half and half. Again, I use heavy cream. I like a heavier, um, thicker soup. So a half a cup of that. Get all of that out, drip it all out. You don't want to waste anything. Definitely not. You got to get it in there. Get it all out. Okay, stir it in there. So this is when your soup starts to turn more of that orangey color, which is the difference between a tomato basil and an actual just straight up tomato soup. So. All right, then I want you to add some basil. Again, I want a fresh basil chopped. The lady did not get that to me. So I'm just gonna put, just sprinkle on some basil on the top. I don't think it's gonna make that big of a difference. Um, it's just gonna add some flavor. So this needs to cook. <laughs> Adventures by D says, who is making the grilled cheese? <laughs> I am getting there. So it says, turn that on about medium high heat and you're gonna wanna cover it. Lid. So you're going to want to cover that soup and let it cook. It says about 20 minutes. It's already really hot though. So 20 minutes to me seems like a lot, but if that's what it says, that's what it says. So that's what I'm going to go with. So now on to the grilled cheese. So this is not an actual Disney grilled cheese recipe. This is just the way we make grilled cheese at home. Um, so again, I have the sliced French bread. Will was like, that's really small, but um, the recipe says the way they serve at Disneyland is the, the bread sits on top of the soup cup. So I figured why not get smaller bread um, to do this with. So I'm gonna go from the inside though, because that's where the bigger pieces are. It's on the inside. Um, so that's kind of what it looks like. You're obviously going to have to peel the cheese to fit in the bread. So, but the good thing about this is normally you can only make like one grilled cheese at a time. I feel like now we can make several. several. So. All right, I put about a tablespoon of butter in the pan when I'm making grilled cheese. And I like to melt it, and I like to put both sides of the grilled cheese in the butter. Oh, there. Hey, welcome in, Dean the Turkey Lexer. Thanks for being here. Catherine, Will, Catherine Wilby says, uh, you need grilled cheese for dipping. You're absolutely right, Dave. So, yeah, we've got, uh, we've got some grilled cheese coming here pretty quick. 
Hi, Dean. I'm sorry we're not making turkey legs, <laughs> but hopefully this soup will warm your heart on a good cold night, <laughs> which is interesting because in Texas, it has been hot, like really hot um, all December, basically. And when I scheduled to make this, I was like, man, it's going to be so hot. No one's going to want to eat grilled cheese here and soup. But... Today has been cold, actually, here. We've got the fire on. Uh -huh. um, it's been pretty chilly outside, so. All right. So we got our grilled cheese going. Again, I like to put both sides in the butter um, just so it cooks well. So what we are gonna do Oh, I'm sorry, I took my dog. She was in the way. <laughs> sorry. So we have sliced cheddar cheese. Again, you're going to have to make it a little bit smaller. You're going to have to cut it because these are smaller. <laughs> this is Chloe, everybody. She's a mess. <laughs> she's well, a bit of a diva. It looks like a street rat right now. <laughs> yeah, she's, she's due for a trip to the groomer. But, uh, but she wanted to be involved in the action. Pretty much any time we go to the, into the kitchen in the morning, she assumes that she's going to get some food. Uh, but her uh, her favorite thing to try to get from us is scrambled eggs. Uh, so that's that's Chloe's favorite. But uh, she only gets it every now and then. <clears throat> oh, Ka Catherine Wilby says, what's cold for you? I'm in Massachusetts, so I think your cold is different from ours. Well, yes, actually, no doubt. <laughs> it is, but if... <laughs> We're very hot natured people in this house. Uh -huh. So to me, 30 degrees outside actually is perfect for me. Um, I tell Will all the time we need to get a, a, a summer house in Wyoming <laughs> yeah. because people love the summer. I hate the summer. <laughs> I absolutely hate it. Um, I do not like hot weather at all. So, uh, so yeah, I think the high for today was what, 51? But, yeah, that, but that came down. Uh, what kind of puppy? Nicole, uh, Chloe is a Yorkie. So, yeah, we actually got Chloe uh, back in 2015 uh, <clears throat> whenever Julian and I got married. Um, and Chloe was one of the puppies from my older brother, Stephen, and, and his wife, Jamie. Uh, they, they had, uh, you know, a boy and a girl, Yorkie. And, uh, and so we ended up, you know, they, they, uh, they ended up having puppies. And so we ended up getting Chloe, but uh, we've been <laughs> taking care of her ever since. Funny, you can see her every now and then on the on the cooking cam, walking around in the floor. So yeah, she's she's trying to look for some scraps. Here, Chloe. No. I'm surprised you don't see Miko. He's normally on the counter. Yeah, I was gonna say uh, we've got Miko over there. He's sitting over there next to the uh, the fireplace currently. So he's uh, he's nice and cozy there, sitting in the living room. We got a new puppy for a foster dog. Oh, neat! Very cool. What kind of what kind of puppy, Nicole? But yeah, it's. I'll tell you what. Like, rewind to about. Oh, there we go. Catherine says it sounds like you would fit in in Massachusetts, Jillian. Yeah, that's. I need to go to a, a cold environment. <laughs> so yeah, uh, earlier this week, uh, it was like seventies and eighties. But Texas is, like, humid, too. Yeah. And it's, like, so humid, my hair was sticking, like, straight up and frizzing. Like, <laughs> you can hear the frizz. Yeah. And I'm like, that should not happen in yeah. December. But... Our cold's a wet cold. It is. And yeah. in Texas, it starts getting really cold in February and March uh -huh. uh, in the south. Because, like, when we got married in Arkansas... Uh, in March, there was a giant snow and ice storm the day before our wedding. So, yeah. <laughs> oh, it was, it was really funny. It's you know, at very, very much uncharacteristic uh, snow uh, came through there there in March. Uh, but it it was really pretty. Made for really pretty pictures of uh, people walking around the uh, the chapel grounds. Hey, there we go. So Is there's that the our first grilled cheese. cheese? Ooh, I have good. it a little bit darker mm -hmm. on the outsides. A little bit lighter on the insides. Um, everyone likes their stuff different. So yeah. um, I prefer a little bit darker red on the outside. So if you're cooking with a lodge pan like this, it, it is hot. So when you pull it up, 
Um, you need to use some sort of cover, some yes. sort of a handle. So well, there's going, an oven mitt or some sort of towel, something to keep from burning your hand. It's going really good. Yeah, so, we're, we're saying it looks like it's a, a nice roaring bubble. It does. Going on there. Did you get any on you? I hope not. Yeah. <laughs> um, so I'm going to let that kind of chill out because it's going good. So uh, Nicole says a Pomeranian. Oh, that's so cute. And that Very cute. Is, that's a lot of fun. Uh, no, Libby's a uh, happy on. Happy on. I yeah. always forget what Libby yeah. is. <laughs> All right, we got that cooking. We want to go ahead and add mom in. It looks yeah, like let's add Dawn in. We're going to go ahead and add mom in. She's been hanging out in the uh, in the green room. Mom, give me a thumbs up if you're ready to come on. All right, she's ready. And go I'll ahead and put pull her in. in a bowl and <laughs> and uh, Catherine says, "Great for uh, great for dipping or great for tipping. Uh, looks great. Do you deliver to Massachusetts? <laughs> uh, might be a little bit cold by the time it got to you, Catherine. All right, let's we'll go ahead and add mom into the stream. Hello, mom." Hey, can you hear me okay? Yeah, we can hear you fine. Okay, super. How's everything God, looking is... and sounding? I, I haven't, I haven't asked. I just uh, fine. The, I the think, sound is. I'll tell you what, it's yeah. the craziest thing. I don't know what it is with my phone and Streamyard, but I went ahead and connected to the Wi-Fi uh, because it was, it was just struggling, and it makes me wonder. Like the, the picture is freezing up, and so it makes me wonder if I was having that issue with no internet connection again, being connected to Streamyard. Mm. Yeah. Very strange. But anyway, I went ahead and connected the Wi Fi. Yeah, Jillian's we... taking the uh taking the bay leaves out there uh before we get ready to serve. Uh but but yeah, so it looks like we got things straightened out. Um but uh but it's good to see you. Glad, thanks, glad you're able to hop in and join the stream. How was Chris's stream? Well, thanks. I yeah, I, I uh, ran over to uh Dad Builds. Uh Chris had an after party for uh, Pete's Disney YouTubers uh, um, achievement uh, recognition. And uh, so I went over to just pop in and say thanks and, and hello to everybody for just a minute. And it was, um, I know you probably talked about this at the top of the stream, William, um, but um, we, my phone's just been blowing up. Yeah. Our Instagram, you know, has been blowing up with, with everybody saying, uh, congratulations and and guys i just wanted to tell you we we so appreciate it um yeah. we we are I, i'm just i was just giddy i you know we were first to be announced uh jonathan uh was right behind us with the yeah, hulk you're and, in good company uh the, the whole night we were in good company it, we it was were, our, cool. our partner <laughs> channel monarch <laughs> moments um you know uh our got ant-man uh, there were just just so many people, yeah. so many wonderful people. We're in such such great company with this this oh, Marvel yeah. uh, class. Uh, Pete's uh, YouTube recognition awards have been such an encouragement to the community, and and I, we just can't thank you enough, guys, for no. the recognition. Yeah. We got Doctor Strange, yeah, uh, you guys. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Doctor Strange, and uh, oh, there you go, yeah. There yeah. You go. <laughs> yeah, I was trying to think before I came out. I thought, do I have anything Doctor Strange? Uh, I, I love Doctor Strange. William can testify, and I've probably said it on the stream before. Um, he's I, I love the whole sorcerer, you know, time traveling. That's a, that's a perfect combination for me. So um, I absolutely love it. But I I just I just wanted to uh, I thank everybody for all the congratulations. Thank you to Pete and to you know the committee of uh, people who are already in that uh that voted for us and feel like our channel is worthy of such an honor we are we are humbled and just 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 thrilled i i just can't thank you enough we appreciate it yeah it's you know it's really cool you know i it's you know it's funny just the progression of uh, of things and everything thinking back to you know the beginning of the channel and us talking you know kind of brainstorming starting the channel mm -hmm. obviously you know we've, we've said it plenty of times before on the channel, but we were inspired by, you know, resort TV one. And then you'd come back from a Disney trip and uh, you said, all right, let's, let's give this thing a shot, you know? Uh, and so, you know, we, we started it off with, you know, our main, our main motivation really being kind of like a digital scrapbook, you know, yeah. to be able to record yeah. uh, family memories uh, at Disney, you know, and, and me and mom would talk about Disney on my commute home from every day. Um, and so, oh, and, thanks, uh, Catherine. Yeah, thank you, Catherine. Um, thank you. You know, we talk Disney anyway, 
And then uh, finally, you know, mom, mom said, let's, let's give this thing a shot. So we brainstormed a channel name and, you know, uh, <clears throat> you know, the rest yeah. is, is history. You know, we've met so many wonderful people, you know, you, you know, have, you know, I about to say, yeah. you know, our yeah. still, channel is still relatively small, but we've met so many wonderful people along the way that have just been very encouraging and so nice and supportive. And, uh, you oh, know, yeah. it just blows me away that, you know, people, you know, you know, people love Disney, you know, and, and people apparently have come to love us too. Uh, and so anyway, it's, uh, it's, it's so neat to just be able to, you know, to, to have come from, you know, mom, you know, clicking the go live button and, you know, who knows, was there even anybody in the chat at, at that point? Mom? That, I was just saying, you know, we were just talking with, with on a dad build stream. There's nothing more terrifying than clicking go live the first yeah. time. You know, I, I can totally sympathize right. with people who, you know, are are you know, just terrified to, to go live that first yeah. time. But um, there was our very first live stream is still on the channel. I have yeah. not deleted it. It's hilarious. Yeah. I think there were maybe three people. <laughs> yeah, there were three people in the chat and they were family members that came in, you know, yeah. as a sympathy. Thing. Yeah. Um, but, you know, we just appreciate it. We yeah. we have come to, uh, you know, from you know, from barely watching YouTube uh, yeah. to uh, having our own channel. And, mm -hmm. and uh, you guys know and how much we love you, people, you know, everybody. In real life and everything, you know, and it, it's so cool because we, we've met all these people in real life. And, yeah. uh, you know, friends. Yeah. Friends. And it's, you know, we, it, it's, you know, yeah. I'll, I'll never, you know, I'll never truly have a solo trip to Disney really because I can, exactly you know, I, I could go down there and and call up jeff and Andrew, or mike wheeler or russ yeah. or you know who, you know in, anybody down there uh, oh yeah so many people yeah. that live down there now that uh that yeah it's, great to, it's very different people. it's yeah. very different very, than it used to be very different but yeah uh, it is but we uh, we love it and you know i mean i used to you know i used to say you know when people would you know, family, family members still kind of, we have some family members who are still kind of unsure of this whole deal. You know, they, yeah. they, they don't really get it, uh, which, <laughs> which is fine. But uh, we also have a lot of family members that, that really, really uh, support us. Yeah. But um, you know, when we, when we go now, I used to say our, well, they're YouTuber friends, you know, they're our YouTuber yeah. friends. And I don't even say that anymore. I yeah. just, they're just friends. You yeah. know, you guys are, you guys are are just friends and uh you know we we love to meet you face to face in the parks but you know uh we know you guys anyway yeah without meeting you face to face it's just extra cream you know yeah. to to get to meet you in the parks and we we love to do that but Absolutely. uh we spend a lot of time together and we appreciate we just cannot uh say say it enough yeah. you know how much we appreciate it we are very honored by this award, our partner channel, great partner channel, Monarch Moments. Um, yeah. You know, Michelle and Gary. Like to meet them yeah, eventually. Yeah, we, we need to get yes. out of the way. We, we're also, we've been looking after our trip to Disney World with Wyatt. We've thought about taking him to Disneyland. We there think you go. Disneyland. Yeah. So. Yeah, definitely need to. Definitely need to do that. And of course, Elena. Hey, Elena. Thanks yeah, so much. That's where um, I was at Lottie. There you go. I had the honor. Better, better win yeah. the lottery. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Elena even, you know, did a live stream for me at Alani. They uh, they go a good bit. And uh, so, you know, there's a great uh, live stream on the channel with Elena giving us a tour of, of uh, the Alani Resort on Oahu in Hawaii. And so, you know, so many of you, we have, you know, hey, Carol. Nice to nice to see you. Um, I haven't. I <laughs> I just kind of came in, so I'm just looking at people in the chat. Kevin Theme Park Adventure. Oh, yeah, we appreciate you being here so much. Um, well, we've got the. Uh, how is it? The soup and the uh, and the grilled cheese there. I'm still mm -hmm. letting my cool Jillian went ahead and uh, bit off. It's pretty hot. Bit off some of hers. Uh, so, uh, yeah, I'm gonna let mine cool a little bit more. But yeah, again, thank you so much, everybody. Uh, we're we're just glad to be here. Um, it's. You know, like like I said, you know, we, we started off with just kind of uh yeah, Jillian dipping close up. <laughs> <laughs> I might get the full experience. <laughs> that looks so good. Wow. 
but yeah, yeah. We're, we're just grateful to be a part of this community. Uh, you know, there's, there's so many wonderful content creators, uh, and you know, that, that people are just incredibly creative and, and, you know, it, it's fun to see Disney through other people's eyes as well, because right. there's experiences that people do all the time that, that are things I've never done before, but I'm like, yeah. okay, I've, I've got to do that on my next trip. Oh, uh, yeah. so it's, Definitely. it's really fun to see how pe people cover Disney uh, and, and things outside of the parks as well. Uh, you know, there, there are lots of great mm -hmm. reviews uh, and, and things like that. People do have stuff on Disney plus or unboxings and things of that nature. And so it's uh, like, like I said, yeah. you know, we're, we're just gr we're grateful to be a part of this community. And uh, it's, you know, we, we can't thank people enough for their encouragement and support. There were two things, well, we're really appreciative of everything that, that was said, you know, by mm -hmm. the presenters tonight, but two things that Pete said uh, were, were very encouraging to me and I thought very sweet. And the first was uh, that our, our channel is a family channel. And, mm. and it truly is, you know, with you and Jillian and myself and, you know, Jeff pops in, you know, occasionally to help yeah, my husband. Kylie, in some of the videos. Uh, Kylie you know, <laughs> is in, you know, so it's, you know, I, so I appreciate him, you know, yeah. letting us know that he appreciates that. Uh, it's just, you know, means a lot to us. And the other thing that he said was, you know, even though we're not able to be in the parks, we managed to bring a lot of Disney magic every time we go live or, uh, upload a video and that's you know that's that's uh high praise yeah. and uh so we appreciate that uh we just appreciate it very much pete and i'm excited y'all i've got to start looking for dr strange merch <laughs> 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 so i'm thinking a hallmark ornament you know we've got a you dr know. strange movie coming up um you know we there's there's a movie out right now uh, no say, spoilers. I I've got this little, you know, the small pop for my advent calendar, but I've got a gold chrome Doctor Strange from the Marvel uh, 10 year oh, anniversary nice. uh, set. And so that's that's the only Doctor Strange stuff I think I have, honestly. Yes. Our our award character, our our recognition character, it's the Marvel series, is Doctor Strange. So I I love it. William knows uh I love it. I've I've always loved the whole sorcerer time travel uh, thing. So yeah, Dr. Strange sure. was pretty perfect for us. <laughs> yeah. One of my favorite bits in the MCU is the Dormammu. I've come to bargain. Yeah. <laughs> yeah just keeps getting crushed by Dormammu because he's got him locked in that uh, time loop. Yeah. But, uh, very much looking forward. So I haven't seen the new Spider-Man movie, but I know Dr. Strange is in it. Based I tried the, to based kick him out trailers. of the house last night to go see it. Who wouldn't? I'm, well, I'm gonna try to. I'm gonna try to get up a vlog, guys. I went to see it. Who's who's seen the Doctor Strange movie in the chat? I mean, a Spider Man a movie in the chat. <laughs> yeah. Oh my goodness! I guys, if you have not seen it and you're a Marvel fan, go see it. This movie is phenomenal. Um, I I have always really kind of been upset with them william knows i'm a purist when it comes to these characters i've always been kind of upset because i i hate with you know i, I always called it messing with spider-man you know why do they keep messing with spider-man changing the characters you know i get you know all that uh this movie spoilers please they're all forgiven they're the with this movie no catherine no spoilers i wouldn't i wouldn't do that i'm gonna try i'm gonna try to get up a video uh catherine uh, as quickly as I can with no spoilers, but this movie is fantastic, guys. Mm -hmm. It's 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 that good. Um, I mean, when it went to drop Wyatt off before the stream, um, uh, Jillian's mom said, you know, I, I mentioned her, the Spider Man movie to her, and she said that she's that she's seen like all all the people in her newsfeed on social media have said. Talk about how good it is. So oh yeah. Yeah. We had we always have in Texarkana, we we always have really great animated audiences mm -hmm. <laughs> in our in our movie theaters. There was applause. There were people crying. There were, you know, we had a little bit of everything, but it was um it it's an excellent movie. And as I said, a lot of um they they really draw you in with this movie. They're, they they hit a lot of the feels, tons of the feels with this movie. Mm -hmm. 
it, it there's tons of action. Uh, I just can't say enough about it. I absolutely, I, I was on the edge of my seat thinking to myself, what are they going to do next? What's coming next? That's, that's mm -hmm. how good it is. So mm -hmm. I cannot wait, uh, you know, later on after you see it, William, we may go ahead and do a stream with spoilers and just put mm -hmm. up, you know, the red flag and say, Hey, with spoilers, because I want to talk about it. Um, I really want to talk about it and then I'll do a, you know, a blog with no spoilers, but yeah, it's yeah. guys, it's go see it. It's worth your time. It's, it's better than anything Marvel has put out. You know, I, I don't know. I've seen people say it's on par with in game. It's different. It's mm. different, but it's excellent. It's better than black widow. It's better than anything they've put out recently. So mm. it's better than Shang-Chi, you know, um, 10 times better. So, I'm really excited about that too because I love Tom Holland as yeah. Spider Man, and uh, it's even cuter that him and uh, him and Zendaya are in a relationship in real life. <laughs> oh, they are. Oh, I didn't know that. I didn't know. Deal that. with the pop culture news. Ooh. Normally, it's me. <laughs> I'd like they saw it for your uh, <laughs> for your team. Wow, yeah, that's unusual for you to know that way. <laughs> You never know stuff like that. Mm -mm. Never. That's yeah. That's more. That's uh. That's more something I would expect to hear from Jillian. So. Yeah. Oh. I don't really. I don't really like Zendaya though. I've never liked Zendaya. I can't stand. <laughs> What's that movie? Greatest Showman. Oh, I can't stand that movie. Ah. Uh, yeah, I like it. Yeah, I like it. I've never liked Zac Efron. A lot yeah. of people my age are like, "Ooh, Zac Efron." I think <laughs> he looks like a Play-Doh model. Like, it's too perfect, almost. So I, I've never really liked him or Zendaya. I will say, Tom Holland is my favorite Spider-Man. Yeah. By far. I like Tom. I like, I like Andrew Holland. Garfield, but Tom Holland is way more believable as Spider-Man for sure. Yeah, yeah, I, 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 on the first one. Yeah, I like. Now, see, I like my two favorites are Tobey Maguire and Tom Holland. Yeah, same. Um, <laughs> you know, Andrew Garfield. I like Andrew Garfield as Spider-Man. I, um, but not as much. Um, but just again, trust me. You know, guys, this this movie. Uh, this new movie, Spider-Man No Way Home, is absolutely wonderful. They mm. they knocked it out of the park with this. You will love it. It's fantastic. Um, and it's it, it gives us a little, uh, also gives us a little, you know, sneak peek uh, into the next steps into the Marvel Universe. You know, our universe is changing since mm. Endgame. So... Uh, it, it it's fantastic. It's great. So tell me, tell me about the flavor of that soup. Is it, is it, does it have like a real intense tomato flavor? Well, it's a lot different than any of the other tomato, tomato basil soups I've had. Cause it has those chopped onions in it. And mm -hmm. I was saying at the beginning of the stream, I don't think I've ever had a tomato basil soup that had the chopped onions in them, mm -hmm. but it's good. It very um, good. I think it's a little, a little tomatoey. Do you think so, or do you think it's perfect? Uh, I, I mean, it's I, it's pretty well balanced, but yeah, I mean, obviously, it's tomato basil soup. It's a little heavy. That's what the it's a little heavier on the tomato. But. That's what the sugar is for. They said add more sugar uh -huh. to taste, uh -huh. to tone it down a little. Uh -huh. I obviously just dove right in. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, yeah, but it was, it was the, super good. Yeah. The, the sugar sugar added to a tomato soup or spaghetti sauce, like my spaghetti sauce recipe, Julian, you mentioned earlier. Uh -huh. um, it it tones the acid down. It, yeah. It cuts the acid content in the tomato it, some. I'm a little sensitive to acid and, and it stinks because I love tomatoes and everything tomato, but um, I, it's good with the chunky tomatoes too. Cause when you go to like Panera or I don't know any of those, you know, overpriced nursing home food places, <laughs> um, there's no chunky tomatoes in them. Mm -hmm. It's just, it's more like a puree. So that to me right. tasted a lot better. Now in the instructions, which I can post them later, it does say you can puree the whole soup. Right. That's what I was about to say. You could 
I don't have something big enough to do that in. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it just said it was an option. So, you know what you need to get, Jillian? And this is something that I bought several years ago and I use it all the time. It's called an immersion blender. Oh, okay. and basically it's, it's like a, like a, it, like a handle yes. with a handheld blender. I mm -hmm. use mine a lot. You'd be surprised. And you could just stick it in the, like if you wanted to just do the onions, you know, you could, you could just, uh, puree the onions puree. if you wanted to yeah. uh but yeah and, and and they're not very expensive so i highly recommend an i know KitchenAids have puree attachments too but that is so expensive for me and i don't honestly very rarely enough. Do puree stuff so um yeah but no it was good i liked the chunkiness uh people yeah. oh, may yeah. puree it down mm -hmm. but i liked the chunkiness honestly of it. you know i i you know I'm not the world's biggest fan of tomato soup unless I do have something to grilled dip cheese, in it. Grilled cheese, yeah. Grilled cheese or something to dip in it. And so the onions and the uh, just kind of chunkiness of the tomatoes in, in this recipe, um, you know, help, you know, give it a little bit of texture. Um, more hearty. Make yeah. It more hearty. Oh, yeah. The other thing, of course, that you could do, you know, men, and, well, and, and, you know, most people, if you wanted to, you could add, uh, you know, you could add some, uh, meat to your grilled cheese. You could add some ham or, yeah, you know, bake yeah, or there's, something like that to your grilled I cheese. Use, there's a place around here, like a bakery around here that has an adult grilled cheese and it has three different kinds of cheeses, bacon and avocado in mm. it. Oh, it's wow. Really good. That sounds good. Um, but, you know, sounds... even the tomato basil soup, people do like the tortellini tomato basil mm -hmm. soup. So if you put the tortellini in there, that would even add something yeah. different. So... And the the grilled cheese was really good. I did white cheddar cheese and then just the yellow cheddar cheese. Yeah. And it gave it some good flavor for sure. Yeah, it was very good. But uh, let's see. Uh, any, anything else related to the... Um, we'll post the link in the description later. To the recipe. To the recipe. It was super good. I highly recommend it, um, especially... I don't know if you had a big Christmas dinner and you don't want to cook for the next three weeks, just make a bunch of soup and there you go. <laughs> oh, it was yeah. super easy. I mean, really easy. And I've never even made it before. So this soup would probably, do you think this was freeze well, Jillian? Could we, could we like, it make I this ahead of time and freeze it? Every soup. Yeah. That would be great. I mean, that would be awesome to, to make this ahead of time and have that, you know, ready as, you know, a quick meal or whatever during the holidays when everything is so hectic. Uh, you know, you could just slap on some, some, uh, you know, grilled cheese and you're, you're Even if ready. You have it just like as an appetizer before dinner. Cause I know a lot of people put the grilled cheese in, in like little shot glass looking things with the grilled cheese sitting on the soup with a little mm. toothpick. Like I, Oh, cool. Yeah. Like oh, that's, things. now so, that's a great idea as an appetizer. Yeah. So it doesn't get soggy. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That makes sense. Like an appetizer. That would be so cute. They stick like a little, they make little grilled cheeses, stick the toothpick through it and put it on top of mm. the glass. Like the little, I mean, a little tiny shot glass. Oh, right? what a great idea. A I love that idea. Weddings do that for appetizers. That's neat. I love that yeah. idea. Yeah. Yeah. Tina says spaghetti sauce freezes fine. So I'm, I'm sure, sure it would. would. Yeah. Yeah. It was good. All right. Mom, did you have anything else? I think it would be um not that i know of uh let's see i'm looking here oh we did get one hang on just a second let me get this and show you this we did get some magical mail oh, um more magical mail and i have not been to uh to our peel box to check uh the peel box so we may have gotten some more christmas cards and we'll share those with you guys later but this is this is from um guys we use mickey yeah, mickey <laughs> we use mickey travels for our uh, Disney planning and we use Jennifer Turner and she sent us this great uh, calendar for 2022 and then of course her her card and we appreciate Jennifer so much Jennifer Turner at Mickey Travels this is not a paid endorsement but <laughs> but uh, Mickey Travels is great Jennifer uh, makes the magic for us and we appreciate her thanks for the Christmas card and there's Miko Chloe had to be in the video, so Miko was feeling left out. There you go. <laughs> He's crazy. There you go. <laughs> wow. Yeah, but we we um Yeah, thanks, Jennifer. We got we got the magnet too. We yep. got it on the fridge. Yeah. 
We got yeah. one last year yeah. too. So we just switched it out. There you go. Yeah, that's great. We appreciate it. And yeah, Jennifer does a great job. I'll go ahead and put um, put her information in the in the uh, description below as well, guys. If you need to, uh, you know, Mickey Travels, use Mickey Travels, guys. Uh, Jennifer Turner can uh, plan your trip. She, you know, using a travel agent, especially now when everything, you know, is is changing a lot and up, getting updated. Um, use a travel agent. It doesn't cost any more to do that. And, you know, it's free and they do yeah. all the work for you and can fill you in on, you know, all the ins and outs and changes and current, uh, you know, protocols and what have you for your Disney trip. So definitely do that. I have something super exciting to show too, because I, I am like an old school kind of person when it comes, I don't like using my phone and stuff is my calendar and planner. I've always liked the something to write on. And then it just makes you feel really good when you can scratch out your to-do list. Yep. So I, yep. I recently bought um, the Happy Planner and they have partnered with Disney. And I have never bought ah. a Happy Planner before because they're super expensive. But I went for it this time and I paid via like monthly payment so they like take your card and it charges you four times over four different months just because i had to have it so oh. they the ones now um i got and what is this called jillian again a happy planner oh how fun well it's very scrapbook like um so nice. it every month is in here and it's got i mean everything is there's so many different oh, Disney ones. Fun. So, and then I got, Great. so like That's right cute. here for mm -hmm. August, it says always believe in yourself. There's cute little quotes. And then I got so cool. the extra. Sean, welcome. I didn't know you guys were at Disney. Just yeah, saying hello to Sean. Sean. It. Mickey sightings. Thanks, <laughs> forward to seeing what we got in magical mail. <laughs> so I got the extra insert. So it has this that you can put on the day. It has sticky notes, and then it has a little folder to put things in, and then oh, it just wow. has extra notebook paper. So I went ahead and bought the little extra pack. Jack as well. Claus. And then in. they, I mean, you could spend thousands and thousands of dollars on these because. Oh, you know, wow. Cool. But it comes. Wow. I also bought the pack of stickers. Oh, how fun, Julie. So when I See, say, a lot of people, I feel like a lot of people still use a paper planner. Yeah. Uh, you know, so those are so cool. Well, wow. and it's all the same uh, style. So I chose this style, the floral print. It kind of um, gives me Iwani a, a vibes a little bit. Right, yeah, right. There's, there's one that's just Mickey and Minnie. There's one mm. that's just Minnie that's all pink. Ooh, there's the princesses. Fun. Um, I didn't get the princess one just because it didn't have Pocahontas, so I was a little bitter about that. But <laughs> and then the sticker pack comes with it too. Like you can buy the sticker pack for I think like nine dollars, and it matches the planner. So Very I nice. think the stickers add something. I don't know. They have like it's a special day, so uh, like who that. doesn't love stickers? Right. And then you can. I mean, you can write on these. These can be little tabs of to do's over here. So Ooh, very I, nice. It's super cool. Really good gift. My mom used to give my nana a planner every single Christmas. Um, oh, but nice. I I still love the paper planners. So it's called the Happy Planner. They have a website. You can also put a, a link Lobby. to that as well. Hobby Lobby has them and you can wow. use a coupon on it. So um Oh, that, that would Again, be a good I've way never, to go. I've never gotten one because they are expensive. I've always gotten the knockoff ones. But it's a good last-minute gift for anyone that you just don't know who to get for. So mm -hmm. yeah, there really we cool. go. Really well, cool. I'll put a link in the description on that as well. But that's pretty cool, Jillian. I, I don't cool. think I've ever seen. Yeah. Ever Again, I've always gotten the knockoff planner because the planners right. can be anywhere from like 30 to 50 bucks. Just oh, yeah. They're expensive. They are. But um, I have always bought the stickers because the stickers are like nine bucks for thousands of stickers. So I think that's a good deal. Yeah. But they even have highlighters and pens and pencils that match. So 
you could go crazy. Wow. Oh, yeah. And wow. if you like scrapbooking, cool. it's like two things in one. There you go. So. Man. Yeah. Mickey Sidings. Hope y'all are having a, a great time here. At, you guys are at Epcot. Man, thanks for popping in yeah. on the stream. We need to check, uh, need to uh, check your channel for vlogs. I don't know if you guys are uh, are vlogging yet, but maybe when you get home, you'll have some some good vlogs up for, up for us. So we'll check that out. Thanks for popping in. We appreciate it. All right. Anything else? I guess that's it. Thanks for hanging in there with yeah, us. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> wrote everybody down uh so uh, big shout out to everybody that's watching live hanging out with us in the chat those are watching in ghost mode thanks for watching too uh i want to give a shout out to aunt susan and aunt joy uh jillian who's on stream with us uh for i mean this is her <laughs> so we're we're just hijacking uh jillian's stream but uh uh jillian kylie and other family members jonathan sean uh francisco nicole rodden hisler Catherine Wilby, Brian K, Tina DCS, Cruising Scene, Jane in Travels, Najuma Brown, Anna Isabel Zizek, um, Car Key, Rayleigh Creative Travel, Kevin Theme Park Adventure, Adventures by D, Elena K808, Nikki Sidings, Dean the Turkey Lexter, and Jack Sandy Claus 1993 Logan. If I missed you, I'm sorry, uh, but. Uh, we always appreciate uh, anybody who spends any amount of time hanging out with us, uh, you know, checking out our content, uh, hanging out with us in the chat, or uh, just just watching our videos. So, uh, big big thank you to to everybody hanging out with us uh, tonight. While Jillian made some really really good tomato basil soup and grilled cheeses, that it was it was solid. It yeah, was very, very good. Yeah. I'm anxious to try the recipe. Uh, I was about to say, because uh, they really hit the spot because I was pretty hungry. Uh, <laughs> and so I was thinking to myself, I was like, man, we're we're waiting until, you know, 845 to start the stream and we have to cook it and then, you know, wait till it's cooked to, <laughs> to eat it. And so I was I was feeling pretty hungry. Uh, so, yeah. Oh, yeah. Thank you so much, Dean. Uh, yeah. I was feeling pretty yeah. hungry and it was it was very filling. So. Yeah, it is. Yeah. It's very thick. But uh, yeah, I'll try that. Anything else, Jillian? That's it. Anything else, Mom? Um, I'm gonna. I'm just. If, if you guys don't mind, I'm gonna read off just quickly the the awards that were given out tonight. Uh, just a list of all these great channels. Uh, that that were you know they got awards on. Uh, check out Pete McDevitt's mm -hmm. channel. Uh, his channel is the Pete McDevitt Show. Uh, if you want to see the the full uh program on that, but um, we were first. <laughs> the Hitchhiking Bones. Um, then Jonathan Chung and Jonathan is one of our great ghost host mods. Mm -hmm. We're honored that, that he was just added to the mansion as, as a, a ghost host, uh, corner sports, living in Diz, big fat Panda. Uh, let's see. It's hard to read my own, uh, writing sometimes, <laughs> uh, captain Akron adventures with VP, uh, Diz Noah's adventures, happily ever yachty, Prince charming dev, uh let's see epcot bob adventures of gonzo orlando the orlando guy here's some emporium our partner channels monarch moments, moments. yay guys bravo timothy rainwaters magic of the mouse radio tiki man fan sarah j joy and justin sanudo uh and they got the uh, the special military award which i thought Please. was really cool um cool. uh, and the Winter Soldier was the was the rep, was the Marvel character for that. Yeah. Uh, Drew in the moment, uh, super enthused. Mickey views, and um, let's see, uh, and Dope Whip Dad in Steve's world. So uh, thanks to everybody. We'll try to make a list and have a you know have a graphic for uh, Tuesday night. Yeah. But uh, congratulations to everybody. Um, guys, watch. I've got a lot of vlogs to get up. Oh my goodness. I'm, I'm so far <laughs> behind. I'm so sorry. I've got to get up one for Hot Springs. I've got to get up the one. Uh, I'll probably do uh, my review of uh, Spider-Man No Way Home first. And then um, I was going to try to do a Merry Christmas one. I don't know if I'll get to that. It may be a Happy New Year one. <laughs> <laughs> we, can put, we can push that to a Happy New Year one. But be sure to check out um, the Christmas content on our channel. Uh, William and Jillian uh, attended the... Uh, uh, Very the, Merry After Hours. 
very merriest after hours Christmas party. And uh, so we have uh, videos of Minnie's wonderful Christmas time fireworks and Mickey's once upon a Christmas time parade. So uh, be sure and check those out on the channel oh, great. and oh, great. join us Tuesday night for Hitchhiker Chat. So All 9 right. p.m. Central, 10 p.m. Eastern. All right, everybody. Hope everybody <laughs> has a great night. Uh, yeah. This is on Tuesday, and this is the last time you see us uh, within the next week. Uh, Merry, Christmas. Merry, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Uh, happy holidays. Yeah, happy Whatever holidays. you celebrate. Happy New Year. The whole nine yards. If it's a while before you see us again, we want to. You know, we hope you all have a wonderful uh, holiday season. Uh, that you're able to have safe travels and get in some time with. Uh, uh, family and friends. So uh, I think that wraps up tonight's stream. Uh, remember at the Hitchhiking Bones YouTube channel, there is always room for one more. So please hurry, hurry back. back. Bye. Bye. Thanks so much, guys. Bye. Bye. Merry Christmas.